to find the power of and, a better way to think and work, and just a couple of examples on how to do that. The best way to change your way of thinking and your way of working is always to look for a nice role model. What, what are some of the best role models we can find in Sweden? Well, you know what? We love to say that the government authorities should learn by private companies to be more agile and light on their feet and more customer-oriented. Yes, true. But you know what? Private companies really should learn something from the public sphere of Sweden, too, because it's proven incredibly efficient for a hundred years or more for us to trust that stable network. Again, the authority trusting. Having strong churches is a strong state, strong government, strong universities, universities, strong local schools, has put Sweden in the lead for a hundred years. There's a reason for that. Public administration. That's what I love, ladies and gentlemen. You didn't see that one coming. And when I was out 2018 in Europe, giving talks like this, people heard we didn't have a government in place. Five months after the election, no government in place. People were like, holy shit, for Sweden, that's unusual. Give us the dirt, what's going on? Are the courts out of hand? Are the trains not running on time, perhaps? And I was like... Uh, nope. Got nothing for you there. Because we have what we in Sweden call public servant culture and the diorium. And as long as there is coffee, we're running this government. We don't care if there's a prime minister. I mean, have you ever loved Sweden more? How, what an incredible asset for a nation. That stability, that low level of corruption. How does this work? This, is, this image here is something that I want you to remember. And I've asked Elin, the producer who makes these wonderful slides, to make it look like a flag, because I want it to become the Swedish flag. How do we make healthy, sustainable decisions in public Sweden? Four steps. Four steps. We start with an investigation. In Swedish, we would call that an utredning. We're going to find all the facts, and all the facts, and all the facts that we don't need, and it's going to take two and a half years. What do we do after that? We have a negotiation where we argue the details and we can't get along and who's paying for this and this is going to be really hard and we have our regler of verordning out. How are we going to go through with this? And once you think you've reached the goal, what happens then? You pull it through the long bank and it takes forever and we're going to go through the details again and we're going to återremitera back to the investigation and we're going to have to go through it a little more and then politicians lock themselves in the room for six weeks and they come out with dust in their jackets and they present the holy grail the compromise. <laughs> this is the Swedish flag, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. This is it right here. So, 